good afternoon all of you uh, let's start with the new concept that is application of ir spectroscopy the first application of ir spectroscopy is it is useful for determination of structure of the molecules right see in the ir spectroscopy there are three different regions are present which one functional group region fingerprint region and aromatic region functional group region provide the information about the which functional group present in the molecules right the second one is the fingerprint region uh, the peaks in the region are very characteristics of the molecule right uh, no two different molecule can have identical ir spectra in this region and they have two compound must be one and the same right therefore the comparison of ir spectrum in fingerprint region will help to establish to identify the molecules okay and third one is the aromatic region in aromatic region the carbon hydrogen bonding vibration in this region it help to know the substitution pattern in the aromatic compound right so this is the first application determination of structure of the molecules the second application of ir spectroscopy is to study the progress of chemical reaction right ir spectroscopy is useful to study the progress of the chemical reaction right to control the chemical reaction and to study the kinetics of the various chemical reaction this application are based on the fact most of the chemical reaction involved change in the functional group right for example uh, oxidation of cyclohexanol to cyclohexanol right initially cyclohexanol is present and the ir spectrum will shows the oh stretching peak at 3550 cm inverse right when the reaction is complete in presence of potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid the band 3550 cm inverse due to oh frequency it will be disappear right and the new band that is uh, ketonic group carbon carbon oxygen double bond at the frequency range 1700 and 10 cm inverse will be introduced right if the reaction mixture uh, shows the both the peak it indicate that reaction is incomplete therefore by this ir spectroscopy it is useful really important application it is used to study the progress of the chemical reaction whether the reaction is completed or not completed that we can monitor by using ir spectro spectroscopy the third application of ir spectroscopy is it is useful for detection of hydrogen bonding in ir spectroscopy distinguish between intermolecular hydrogen bonding and intramolecular hydrogen bonding and free hydroxyl group the free hydroxyl group uh, which is appear at very high frequency near about uh, 3600 to 3650 cm inverse while hydrogen bonded alcohol and phenol appear at lower frequency near about 3200 to 3500 okay in order to know whether the alcohol containing intermolecular hydrogen bonding or intramolecular hydrogen bonding the given alcohol is dissolved in large or excess of a protic solvent and if the hydrogen bonding is intermolecular due to large excess of the solvent the space between the molecule is occupied by the solvent molecule and intermolecular hydrogen bonding will be disappear and oh stretching peak it can be shifted towards what highest frequency oh stretching frequency remain unchanged even after the dilution okay so peak of the hydrogen bonding should be intramolecular so therefore this is also important application that is detection of hydrogen bonding into the molecules right then 
Fourth application is IR spectroscopy. It is useful for determination of size of the ring ketones, right? Ring, uh, ring strain in cyclic ketone shift the carbonyl stretching frequency to the higher wavelength. As a ring strain increase the carbonyl frequency also increases, right? Therefore, IR spectroscopy, it is useful for determination of size of the ring ketone. Then, fifth application of IR spectroscopy is, IR spectroscopy, it is useful for detection of the impurities, right? <clears throat> uh, we know that particular functional group, it can absorb a particular frequency, right? So, known as group frequency. If the hydrocarbon contain very small amount of ketone, can be treated out by IR spectrum. This is because a ketone shows a strong absorption band at 1720 while hydrocarbon do not have absorption band at 1720. Similarly, small quantity of alcohol in hydrocarbon mixture can be easily detected by observing a broad absorption band, right? due to OH stretching frequency which is absent in the hydrocarbon. Again, the other applications of the IR spectroscopy is IR spectroscopy, it is also useful for the identification of the atmospheric pollution, okay. IR spectroscopy, it is um, used in the industry to determine the impurity which is present into the raw material, right. Then IR spectroscopy, it is also useful for the measurement of uh, ethanol, right? It uh, can be detected by the um, IR spectroscopy, right? Then this IR spectroscopy, it is useful for the measurement of the paints and varnish, uh, varnishes can be done by the reflectance method, right? So these are the different applications of the IR spectroscopy. I will again summarize the application point. The one is determination of structure of the molecule to study the progress of the chemical reaction detection of the hydrogen bonding then determination of size of ring ketone and it is useful for detection of the impurity as well as the atmospheric pollution right so uh, uh, these are the applications of the ir spectroscopy i hope that you understood this concept if you have any queries regarding to this so please post your queries on google classroom thank you very much